At the beginning of the movie, we see a man named Lee, who used to live in Bangkok City with his friend. Both of them are painters. He used to make paintings very well. Yuvan used to make very good paintings by using his brain. But Lee was even faster than him. He used to copy every famous painter. His mind was very good in these works. He used to see any painting and make a painting like that. Although his paintings did not get a part in the exhibition. Because everyone used to say that his paintings are copies of someone else's. One day when he goes home in the evening, he hears the words of Yuvan and his manager. Where the manager tells Yuvan that if you want to be successful, then you should stop working with Lee. Because everyone knows about him that he makes copies of paintings. But he replies that I can't stop working with Lee. If you want to go, then go. One day his paintings get a part in the exhibition, where people like Yuvan's paintings a lot, but no one likes Lee's paintings. Then a man comes there who insults Lee's paintings a lot. He says that what kind of paintings are these? These are all made by copying. Yuvan gets very angry on this. He pours alcohol on that man and throws him out. Then Lee immediately goes after that man, so that he can apologize to him for Yuvan's behavior. After going to him, he finds out that that man did all this on purpose. He wanted to meet Lee alone. The man tells Lee that the way you work, the way you copy the paintings, you are an expert in your work. I know your talent very well. Then they meet in a bar and talk while drinking alcohol. That man tells him that I like the way you copy, and you know that your fate can change because of this skill of yours. I have a very good job for you. After all the talks, Lee goes back to the same place, where his paintings were put up for display. He goes out and burns his painting. Lee was very happy with his work that he was insulted. After doing all this, he calls the same man, who deliberately insulted Lee's painting. He meets him and says that I am ready to work with you, and tell me what kind of paintings I will have to make. That man gives Lee a hundred dollar note and says his copy. Here Lee finds out that that man wanted to make a lot of fake notes from him, so that no one can recognize those notes. He says that we can't print so many fake notes. That's why I can be successful by using your talent. I want to make you a part of my team in this work. After hearing this, Lee gets a little worried, because this work was illegal. But when he thinks that after all this, he is going to play with a lot of money, so he agrees to do this work. After all this talk, when Lee goes back to his house, he sees that Yuan had also left the house, because Yuan had to pay for the painting that Lee had burnt. In the next scene, we see that Lee is in a private plane with that man. He was going to another city. Lee tells that man that I will come back only when I earn a lot of money. I will go to Yuan only then. In that plane, he had another companion with that man, who will print and sell fake notes. The most important thing here was to print the notes, even if they had a good printer. Still, they could not print the fine lines in the notes properly. So here comes the work of Lee, who could also copy every fine line. And the second thing was that such a paper was used, on which no one could easily scratch. The specialty of that paper would be that whenever it was written with a mini CI pen, then he also changed that CI to yellow, and in the same way, the people working in the bank also separate the fake notes. Now that man had also got that paper, on which he had to make fake notes. Now Lee's work starts here. For many days he is busy making copies of fake notes. He makes small things on the notes very well. Lee does not even leave a line. Making a picture on the note and then seeing that picture again was a very difficult task. They all use the Chinese method for this work here. They put the painting made of the note in the middle of a machine. They put two papers around it as they wanted. Their work becomes exactly like that. The next task was to print the note. A man from that man's team prints the fineness of those notes very well with his skill. He sees that all his work was going on perfectly. He passed in every test. He had also found that paper on which he had to print the notes. He goes to a company where that company used the same paper. The size of the note was just right. That's why that man buys a lot of papers. Here no one should doubt them. That's why they all say that their company works to print books. That's why they want to buy this paper. Now that paper also reaches them. They had made a lot of fake notes. They start their work through a scrap shop, and they deliver fake notes to many of their customers. For six months, Lee does business with that man who prints fake notes. Now, he had become Lee's boss. After that, 
Lee comes back to his city and goes to his friend Yuan's house because he had something that he had gone to return. He does not meet Yuan there. He keeps that thing and comes back. Seeing all this, he tells the man that you are a coward. You got scared of a girl. Look at my courage. To show his courage, he shoots the police officer there. He tells Lee to shoot, but he was scared. That's why he didn't shoot because of fear. But that man killed all the policemen. But whatever was happening in front of Lee's eyes, he was very upset because of this. Lee now started thinking that his boss is such a crazy person who can't kill anyone for no reason. He thinks that he just wanted to work with him. Lee was very upset about all this. After this, we see another man in the story who was a police officer who used to investigate fake notes. That officer was called because the police had come to know that many fake notes are being printed in the city for the past few days. That officer meets the biggest officer of the city to find out about all this. Both of them hide their real identity. They go on a mission to find fake notes. After meeting a lot of people, they finally get a chance to meet that man, with whom Lee used to work. That is, Lee's boss. Both of them reached the ship where they were going to meet him, but he was not there. In fact, Lee's boss's man was there, to know both the officers. They investigate them a lot, but they don't know their truth. That's why Lee's boss's men trust them and include them in their team. On the other hand, Lee goes to his boss, and he says that's sorry. I can't work with you anymore. I am leaving your team, and I will soon find a man for you, who will work with you, and will also make paintings. Lee's boss agrees to this. You want to go? You can go. A lot of time had passed like this. We see that Lee's boss's men have spread all over the world and are doing a job of spreading fake notes. He was earning a lot of money from this work, and at the same time, his demand for notes was also increasing. A don of the city also wanted to buy fake notes. That's why he calls Lee's boss, so that he can buy fake notes from him. But we find out one more thing here, that a long time ago, Don had killed Lee's boss's dad. Lee's boss had come here to give fake notes to Don, but he also wanted to kill him. He had come to avenge his dad's death. That's why he also brings Lee with him here and says that the bomb in your jacket, burn it. But the poor scared Lee, he refuses to do this. But after a while, there was a big explosion outside the car. That's when the bullets also start burning there. In this explosion, Don and all his men were killed. But a girl survives in this explosion, who used to work with Don. She used to tell Don whether the notes were real or fake. That girl also started working with Lee and his boss. In this way, Lee also becomes very good friends with that girl. Lee's boss spends a lot of time working. Now those people take a long break from their work. That is, those people had stopped their work for a while. Lee had come back to his city with his boss again. He goes to Yuan's house. He sees that Yuan had become a very famous painter and artist. He had sold more than a thousand of his paintings. But when Lee finds out that Yuan has to get engaged, and she is going to get married very soon, he is very sad. His boss says that if you like Yuan so much, then you will have to fight for him. You tell him how much you like him. After saying all this, the boss takes Lee with him, where he had to meet on the ship. Not only that, the boss had also found out about that officer, who was secretly investigating by joining his team. Lee's boss finds out one more thing here, that the police are after him for this reason, because the man of his team had broken the rule, who used to print notes. He had bought a watch from a fake note, and because of that, the police were after him. Lee's boss catches that man, and also says that you and your family will have to die now, because we are all in trouble because of you. You have broken the rules of our work. That man begs a lot. That don't kill him, leave him. Here Lee also tries to save that man, but the boss also follows him. Boss kills him. Lee's boss meets that officer, who was secretly investigating him. But that officer did not know, that he has found out all his truth. Boss calls Lee there and says, that you have to kill this officer. Lee was very scared. His boss to end Lee's fear. To end Lee's fear. He kidnaps Yuan and his fiance. He gives the gun to Lee and says that these two have hurt you a lot. Kill them. I know you will do this because you hate them a lot. But Lee refuses to shoot this time too. But this time his boss was very angry. Lee's boss shoots Yuan in anger. But here Lee had recognized Yuan. But his fiance is killed. Here the girl who was with the Don. She is Lee's fiance because she knew that the boss will kill Lee now. So here she shoots everyone. In this fight, 
Lee's bosses all men died. And in the end, Lee also shoots his boss and kills him. Now from here, that girl takes Lee to a hotel. They both were very scared when they came here because they felt that the boss is still alive because his dead body. The police had not yet found it. Lee wanted to go back to UN from here to see if he is okay or not. But that girl stops Lee from going here. She says, don't go. Your life can be in danger. But Lee does not stop. And he goes. On the way, Lee made a mistake. He burns a fake note because of which the police had also caught him. He is taken to the police station, where the police interrogate him. But Lee does not tell them anything, because he was very scared. He knew that about his boss. If he tells anything to the police, then his boss will kill him. That's why Lee does not tell anything to the police. A few days later, a young girl comes to meet Lee. She also tells him to tell the truth. And she also promises him that she will take him away from here. Here, between the police and Lee, this thing is decided that if he tells everything to the police, then the police will leave him. Lee decides that he will tell the truth to the police. He now tells about his old life here. How did he meet his boss? How did they make fake notes? And how did he see a man dying for the first time? He tells everything about his boss. He had also made a picture of him, and also of that girl, who used to work for Validon. The police search them everywhere and they start looking for them. The police officer was looking for Lee's boss. That's when he sees a similar-looking man. He was wearing a police uniform. That's when the police caught him. But after investigating, it turns out that that man was working for the police for a long time. So how can he be Lee's boss? But of course, the man who looks like this police officer was also Lee's boss. And here we come to know the real secret of this story. Lee and his boss were both the same man. That is, Lee had made a story of such a person in his mind, who used to go to the business of making fake notes so that he could never face such a truth, that he is a bad person. Lee was doing the business of making fake notes. He presented himself as a very straight person in front of everyone. That is, whenever the boss did something wrong in the story, it was no one else. In fact, Lee used to do it. He was killing everyone so far. Here's another surprising thing. When Lee was released from jail, and he also told Lee, Tell the truth. That girl was not Lee, but the girl who worked with Don. She liked Lee a lot, but when the explosion happened, that girl's face was damaged. That's why he got his face surgery and made his face look like a young man. And that's why he came to jail, just to save Lee. After that present, that is, we see Lee and the same girl at the present time, whose face was now like a young man. She was spending her life as a young man. When the girl asks him, do you like me? He says no. I only love the real young man. But the police never caught them. On the way here, the girl tells that I have been roaming here for hours. We are still in this city. She says, Lee, if you are not mine, then I will kill you and myself. Then the police also followed him, surrounded him here. But in his boat, there is an explosion here. In that explosion, Lee and the girl both died. In the end, we are shown that the police go to a young man. When the young man sees Lee's picture, he remembers that Lee was his neighbor. Here it is found. There was never any relationship between Lee and the young man. Lee had made all the stories in his mind that he likes the young man. He never had any relationship with the young man. And with this, the movie story ends here. Ends.